Hey guys, Danny457 here, and today I will be giving you facts about an animal that we pretty much all know about. It's scary. Not many of us have seen it. Well, some of you might have seen it in an aquarium, but it's scary nonetheless. Yes, that is right. Today, we will be talking about the anglerfish, the predator of the deeps. Now, we all remember that first time we were watching Finding Nemo, and when you saw that anglerfish, you got to admit, you were pretty freaked out too. I mean, seriously, one second it's black, and then the next second it's like, oh my goodness, there's a big scary thing with teeth that with a light bulb coming off of it trying to kill us. So yeah, let's not waste any more time and get started with the video. Alright, now, first of all, we are going to look at how long an anglerfish is. Now, the anglerfish's length can be determined either by its sex or by its species. It really all depends. But the average range between an anglerfish is either less than a foot through over three feet. So e anglerfish is, can sometimes be over three feet long or it can be less than a foot long. It really just all depends. Now, some people might ask, oh well, I'm scared of anglerfish. You don't have to worry, because first of all, it is only found in two oceans, and second of all, it's very unlikely you're going to go as far as an anglerfish would be. Now, anglerfish normally live in either the Atlantic Ocean or the Arctic Ocean. Yeah. So, if you're not connected to either of those oceans, you don't have to worry. And if you, even if you are, you still don't really have to worry, because chances are you're not going to see them. And now let's talk about the species. The amount of species there are on anglerfish. There are over 200 different species, and yeah, it's, um, yeah. Just, there are two, over 200 different species. Now an anglerfish can weigh up to 110 pounds. That's pretty light compared to most other sea creatures. I mean, some sea creatures weigh less than that, but still, if you compare it to great white sharks and those big, gigantic creatures in the ocean, that's very, very light. Most humans weigh more than that. But it is still a scary creature. The deep sea anglerfish can normally range between over 2,000 and 3,000 feet. More specifically, 3,300 feet below the surface of the ocean. So yeah, you guys really, like if you're scared of an anglerfish like I was when I watched Finding Nemo, you really shouldn't worry because it's over 3,000 feet deep. Now some people might ask, wait a minute, how do they survive down so far? Well, I'm going to answer that. Now, I didn't look this fact up because I remember my teacher telling me that the reason why anglerfish can survive so far in the depths is because they don't have any air bladders. Air bladders are basically, well, like, almost like gills but not exactly. 
They don't have air bladders, which means that they don't get crushed to death in the depths of the ocean. Now, that is why there aren't many fish down there. Because, well, most fish have air bladders. So the anglerfish doesn't have an air bladder, which means it won't get crushed to death or it won't suffocate. Now, there are a few types of fish that live down there, but not very many. So the anglerfish relies on just those resources. So yeah, it relies on literally either some hatchet fish, I think that's what it eats, it's definitely carnivorous, but it just relies on different kinds of fish um, that are just floating around. Now, like they did in Finding Nemo, the light attracts its prey. It'll turn on its little light thingy and it'll attract the prey. Okay, now that is the end of this video. I really hope that you learned something about anglerfish, and I will be doing a, another science video on da -da -da, the hatchetfish next week. See you guys later.